guys um i thought it might be quite fun today to do an updated what's in my pencil case type of video um just lately uh i have been toting around the house and garden too um this is a, a much smaller pencil case which you've seen probably quite a lot because it's one of my all-time favorite ones it's from hema um but it's about two years old so i don't know if it's still available anymore but um i really love it for its size and shape and everything um and the other one i've been toting around with me doesn't even close because it's just it's got so much in it at the moment is this it's a little fox and this was um given to me as a christmas present again probably about two years ago by john um it's supposed to be a wash bag like a toiletries bag um and it was from boots so again i don't know whether this is still available um yeah so these are the two things that i've seemed to be taking around all over the place uh with me around the house around the garden i haven't taken them out of the house because i haven't needed to um, but yeah, this is what seems to be coming around the house with me and I thought I would do this video like just purely spontaneously and I haven't been through everything so as you can see it is really like bursting and there's a lot of just kind of stuff like different washi tapes that I've used and then haven't sort of brought back and brought back into my room and put them away. I've just sort of dumped them in here and stuff so I thought it might be quite fun to have a look through. So I'll move the big one out of the way and do the small one first now in the pocket in the front little pocket there's like a little bit of rubbish actually that's uh, cut off of a bit of a photo and some toilet um not toilet tissue kitchen roll which i pop in there that's just when i'm like out and about and i'm using my aqua brush and i just want to clean my brush off a bit um i've got a bit of kitchen towel in there so yeah this is you can get quite a lot in this little baby can't actually remember what's in here at the moment so I thought it might be quite good to kind of have a clear out at the same time and work out if I actually need any of this stuff in here because I don't know about you guys but when you're doing stuff you kind of stuff just seems to get put away and you don't always remember where you've put it and it needs clearing out sometimes so first things first I've got a Pritt stick so one of my favorite glue sticks do love a good Pritt stick myself I've got just a normal um biro this is a nice day a nice day click medium and do you know what I know it's just a cheap biro but it writes so well I love that thing um I've got an aqua brush I've got alpha stickers everywhere and they're just like oh, I'm a bit obsessed with alpha stickers at the moment but um yeah they just seem to be finding them everywhere um pentel aqua brush for using watercolor on the go I've got another pentel aqua brush this one is filled with black um, acrylic ink um, I do love to use that sometimes for like painting and colouring in or drawing with or doing brush lettering or something like that I d just really like using black ink in an aqua brush um, oh I have another print stick see this is what I mean like sometimes you just need to um, clear your stash or clear your stuff out and work out what you've actually got um, I have got a glittery pencil which is blunt the lead's gone um, need sharpening I want to get myself an electric sharpener or something really uh, another pencil this is a Faber Castell I usually draw in HB I I do have artist pencils in various H's and B's but I do like just a normal HB pencil I cannot lie uh, next up I've got a liquid ink pen in writes in blue it's a fountain pen it's a disposable writes beautifully um i use that when i'm writing correspondences uh, my lamy fountain pen i've got um black ink in this at the moment and because i in my journals and in my planner pages i do prefer a black ink i am a black ink writer uh, what's that oh some uh washi tape strips there from the carpe diem range <laughs> It's bad I know I've got a rubber or sorry if you American folks who moan at me an eraser um yes yeah, is a pencil shape one so you click it and it comes out it's not the greatest I got it from Tiger it's not the greatest but it was cheap <laughs> I bought it for the pencil size of it um but yeah it it it's okay uh would I buy it again no but I'm not gonna throw it out either so one of my all-time favourite pens, I don't know how to pronounce it really, is the Schneider. I think that's how you pronounce it. 
Um, it's a blue ink again, and I use this when I'm like making general notes and stuff. It writes so smoothly, and it is beautiful to write with. Um, they weren't available in the UK. I got this sent um, as a sample from a supplier. And they weren't available to buy in the UK for ages. But um, now apparently you can buy them on um, eBay um, and in black ink. They're quite pricey though, I, I think. But um, I haven't really looked. But I might try and see if I can get some of them. Because that's like my favourite pen. Um, okay, going in. Ooh! <laughs> Two for the price of one. I have a white jelly roll pen. I've got washi tape strips everywhere. Um, white jelly roll pen. They're really good for doing like little white um, fine details. Like catch. I usually use them for like um, catch lights in eyes and stuff. Uh, a Posca paint pen in white. Um, this one is the. Um, oh, not point nine to one point three millimeter. I think they call this the medium or the small love my Posca paint pens, my white ones. Well, I love all my Posca paint pens. I've got the, the uh, set. Um, next up, I've got another disposable fountain pen. Pilot Varsity. That's in blue. Um, a correction tape. These correction tapes were in the, um, the March Brimbles box. Um, so it's, well, it's a correction tape on that ear. I mean, like a, you just roll it in it white or white out tape tipex pen whatever you call them and on that side is a rubber or an eraser so it's quite a handy little thing to have and i like it and it's cute as well so you can't go wrong when it's cute <laughs> um what else oh <laughs> another white out correction tape obviously i feel in my life that i need a lot of uh, correcting <laughs> What else? I'm still going in my pencil case. Okay, so not else have I got the Uniball Signo White in broad tip. Again, I love using my white pens on various things actually. Um, next up, my all-time favourite pen for drawing with is the Uniball Eye in fine. This is black and it's waterproof. Well, it's waterproof once it's dried. Just bear that in mind. Yes, yeah, so it's waterproof once it's dried. Um, love this pen. I've always loved this pen and I cannot see myself ever changing from this pen for drawing. Love it so much. I have my Kate Spade ballpoint pen. This is called the um, To-Do List. Um, I sell these in my shop and I love it. Um, it comes in other designs as well. Um, it's just really beautiful. It's really heavy and really weighted and it just feels so beautiful in your hand. I usually have this attached to my planner but I recently changed planners and the planner doesn't have a pen loop so um, that's why it's not on my planner at the moment but it's been going around the house with me so I absolutely adore that pen. Um, what else is in here? I've got some um, more, well, some ink cartridges for my fountain pen. I'm still going. I'm just going to grab it all out. Uh, like Okie dokes. I've got the shoes for the bottom of this corrector tape. He's got like little wet shoes. Um, another um, Uniball black eye. <laughs> um, another rubber. Just a normal square helix pencil rubber. And a teeny tiny little pair of scissors. Which are great for just sort of travel and stuff. So that's what's in my main pencil case. And you know what? I'm actually really happy with the contents. So I'm not going to um, cleanse that. I'm going to put it all back in. I should really have a pencil sharpener in there. But I don't. So I need to find one. <laughs> it's probably around the house somewhere. Like pet me and rubbers and pencil sharpeners just kind of go all over the place. Uh, so in here... Um, <laughs> it's probably mainly washi tape and stuff. I'll move it out of the way. So I've got a whole chunk of washi tape. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. I have not bought any washi tape from another seller from, for ages. Because I've just been totally loving the washi tape that I've been getting in stock lately. So um, yeah, these are all ones that have been in the Brimbles boxes. Or um, either in the Brimbles boxes or... Um, I sell in my shop 
so I'll just show you. I'll just get them all out. Oh, this one. Oh, there's two. There are two different ones, and I'll talk about those in a moment. There we go. So there's those washi tapes. These two washi tapes. This one is like a blue stripe one. This one was from Laura Bay Laura on Etsy. And this Wellington boot one was from My Green Cow. And she is on Big Cartel website. The wellies. Which are awesome. So, yeah, a load of washies which need to get put away. Um, I have a load of distress stains in here. I've got, um, so I love using distress stains. Uh, peacock feathers. I've got shaded lilac. Um, ooh, picket fence. Uh, carved pumpkin. I know I've got more, but they're just hiding. So I need to try and get some other bits out of my pencil case I've got some more of those file folders that came in the in the uh, May Brimbles box that I haven't used yet so I've got some more of those for journaling and stuff I will use them soon got some washi tape samples I've got various stickers and washi tape strips um, like hide they're their Webster's pages I've got Carpe Diem they're Heidi Swap as I say most of the stuff I use these days does come to tend to come out of my shop because I stock it I just grab the stuff out of the st out of stock when I feel inspired to um, use stuff so I'm just trying to empty my pencil case a bit and put it to one side so I can actually get the stuff in here um, I've got a pick to raspberry distress stain uh, a brushed pewter distress stain uh, seedless preserves um, I do have another couple so I'm just getting those out and then I can show you what else is in there I've got like stuff stuck to me a bit more rubbish um, do -do -do -do. this one is a wilted wilted violet and lastly uh, I haven't even opened this one have I opened this one Yes, I have. Yeah, I have. The plastic's just on the thing. That uh, Twisted Citron. Yeah, what am I going on about? I've used that before in some pages. So I'll move those out of the way. Um, and then I'll get to what else is in the bottom. It's good to have a good sort out sometimes. More, more of these. Um, these are the backing for the zinc prints that I print off my zinc, off my zip printer. Find my zip. And I just, they seem to be all in my thing. A slim washi tape. This is a deco runner, like a washi tape, which I really love. It's got like a chevron design. And then everything else. Oh, I found another washi tape. Another washi tape. And then all of this is just various stickers and embellishments and bits and pieces. So I'll very quickly run through them. I've got a couple of journal cards and scrapbook pieces and stickers. More rubbish. Oh dear, just different. Yeah, look, the loads of these. Um, oh, it's a picture of my girls. Loads of these zinc labels off the back. Alpha stamp stickers just everywhere. Washi tape and pictures. Enamel dots because I'm obsessed with enamel dots at the moment. I absolutely adore them. Um, these are Heidi Swap cards that like go in the pocket pages for the memory planner. Another photo of my girl. And more of these washi tape strips. <laughs> loads of late rows of rubbish. There's various different like stickers and journal cards and you know bits and pieces. Loads of stickers from various sellers on Etsy, Sea Salt and Paper, K Lime Pie. Um, I tend to buy from the same sellers all the time. Beautiful planning. Um, so yeah, I've just gotten postcards. More um, more kitchen towel for blotting. Scrapbook. Those are from Anna's Planner Bubble. I've just got a load of different planning stickers. I've done sticker hauls before. Ellie Beth Designs cosmic stickers. All those kind of people, Got some paper chase ones, yeah. So I just have a various and loads of alpha stickers because, as I said, I'm totally digging my alpha. Those are from My Green Cow. Love my enamel dots. They're um, Webster's Pages ones. Ah, oh, love enamel dots. 
loads of alpha stickers because yeah as i said i'm well into my alphas um some photos like spare photos and stuff oh i've, I've got some thank you cards and correspondences that i'd replied to and they've obviously been st stuck in back in my book so yeah various different planner stickers and stuff and then i have this little sticker book which i got from um sea salt and paper and i've got various enamel dots and alphas stuck to it um yeah and i just kind of keep a load of my planner stickers in there they're mainly Hi heidi swap and the carpe dm ones some uh webster's pages ones but yeah so i do have a quite a lot of stickers that are not organized and not sorted and i need to go on a sticker buying ban <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's everything really that was in. I've got a few photos, but I don't know what they are. So I'm not showing those until I've um, gone through those just in case. Um, but yeah, there we go. I hope that was a little bit interesting for you and insightful so you could see what kind of stuff I keep in my in my um, pencil cases and that that I carry around the house with me. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.